Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make spicy honey garlic wings. Yep, spicy honey garlic wings. So here's all of what you are going to be needing for these spicy honey garlic wings. So here I have a pound of cleaned and patted dry chicken wings. I got a basic mixture of seasonings because I don't want to use too many different seasonings to, you know, take away from the spicy garlic wing flavor. So here I have a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to be using my garlic press to squeeze out the garlic. So I have three cloves of garlic here. I have a piece of ginger that I'm going to be mincing up and two stalks of scallion, which are really going to be for garnish, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. I got some olive oil that I'm going to be coating the chicken in before I put the seasoning on so that the seasoning can stick better to it. And when these wings bake, it will have a great you know, brown color to it. I have my honey, and here is the spicy garlic sauce that I'm going to be using. But with that, that's really to your liking, but I'm only going to be using one teaspoon of it because trust me, guys, this sauce goes a long way and it's very spicy. And here I have some soy sauce. So we're going to start by getting my chicken mixed up so that we can get that into the oven so that we can make the sauce for this uh for these spicy garlic wings let me just move this back here and guys the measurements will definitely be down in the description below and if you don't want to use any olive oil you are free to use vegetable oil or even butter when i make certain dishes when it comes to bacon especially with chicken i like to use uh well, let me mix this first before I touch the chicken. I like to use butter, but the fact that I'm already going to be flavoring these wings with something, I'm going to use the uh, olive oil. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to mix this chicken with the olive oil that I just drizzled over it. I just want to make sure that gets all over. And from the looks of it, it is. So I'm going to be adding my seasoning. I'm going to mix that through. And guys, if you're going to be baking this like I am, you want to start your oven to be preheating right now at this point at uh, 350 degrees. And these wings will be baking from at least one hour and 15 to maybe 20 minutes uncovered. That's how you will get the best crispy wings with this dish or any dish. It's just, you know, not having them uncovered. If you guys are feeling like frying your chicken, then feel free to do so. That is okay. Okay, so these wings are thoroughly mixed. And here's what you will end up with. They are perfectly seasoned and you know that they're gonna have flavor because the season is all over it. So I'm gonna be baking mine in a, uh, a foil pan. Let me just move that. Okay. And you wanna make sure that you are baking these skin side up. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you guys can continue to see what I'm doing here and get some good recipes and some ideas to feed your friends and your family and definitely yourself. So guys, I'm going to place these in the oven, like I said, on 350 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes uncovered. And, and I will be right back so that we can make this spicy honey garlic sauce. Okay, those wings are in the oven, so let's get started on getting our 
garlic pressed and our scallion cut and our ginger cut so what I'm going to do is give that a press scrape it off there will be garlic skin inside if you are going to use a press and you already know this if you are familiar with using a garlic press so that's garlic clove number two man discovering this was such a game changer and it made things easier All right. Okay. So I'm done with this. Now I'm going to cut up our ginger. With the ginger, you don't really need much, just probably about a teaspoon of it. Just make sure it's finely minced. Because ginger is very strong. You don't want your chicken to be tasting like ginger and not garlic. But these two work perfectly together. Garlic and ginger. Oh, my ginger is going everywhere. All right, take another piece of that. Okay, so I cut off exactly what I need from that piece. Okay. Okay, so that's good enough. There you have it. It should be about a teaspoon. I'm just going to place that on there with the garlic. Put that extra piece over there. Now with the scallion, I'm just going to cut that in half because this is basically for garnish. We're not using this for the actual um, sauce. Okay, there we go. Now that's fine. And just place that on there as well, but we know not to put that in the sauce. Wow, this smells so good together. All right, so let's go to the stove and start prepping this sauce. These wings smell amazing. So I'm gonna be using a small pot to cook this sauce in. We're just gonna simmer. We're not really like, you know, cooking it for a long time because we're just gonna bring the flavors, flavors together. So meet me at the stove. So before we get to the stove, let's start off with making a sauce so that we can eventually go to the stove so we can simmer this sauce. Okay, so we're gonna start off with one fourth cup of honey. Your honey of choice. Okay, there's my one fourth cup. I'm gonna dump that into this bowl. As you already know, I like to get everything. All right. Brown sugar, one tablespoon. If it comes out, there we go. And we have our ginger and garlic remember the scallion is for garnish our three cloves of garlic that we chopped up our one teaspoon of ginger that we chopped up all right let's leave that to the side now i'm going to be using this again because i need two tablespoons of soy sauce 
just want to move that around because I'm sure it has settled. It doesn't matter if you use dark or light. So, one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Okay, so now I will be adding that chili garlic sauce. And this is the brand that I'm using. If you don't have this or you're unable to get it, pretty much any type of uh, garlic or chili sauce will, will work. You can even just use cayenne pepper. Uh, there we go. So I got that. I want to mix that up a little bit. Oh my God, I smell the spiciness. Woo! Guys, remember, like I said, this stuff goes a long way. So if you're not really into spices like that, be careful of the amount that you use, but I'm only using one teaspoon of this because trust me, that's all that's needed from this. Okay, so let's mix this up. Wow, this smells good. That onion and uh, the ginger, I mean the, uh, the garlic and ginger together. Wow, with the soy sauce. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes and then we're going to really this time go to the stove so we can simmer this sauce for about 10 minutes, maybe 15, just to put some heat on it because you want the flavors to come together. All right, so let's really go to the stove this time. Okay, guys, so my sauce has come to a simmer exactly how I want it, but it's a little too loose for me. So what I'm going to do is take a teaspoon of cornstarch, but I'm going to mix it into some water, which will be called a slur. So here's my teaspoon of cornstarch. Gonna add a little water. I just give that a, a little mix. And this sauce will thicken right on up. Okay. This should do. Okay, we should be all right right there. Just let that go for a couple of more minutes. And it will definitely thicken up for you. All right, guys. So that's that cornstarch did wonders. Our sauce is nice and thick now. The thickest it should be. Okay. All right, so let's get to putting it on the wings. Okay, so let's get these wings together. These are the finished product of our wings after they have been baked. So I'm gonna just place these in the bowl. You see how easily they come up? And these are good just the way they are, but we are doing something different here. Okay, so guys, also, when you make your sauce after you get it, you know, get the uh, cornstarch in it, allow it to sit for a few minutes, maybe about five to six minutes, so that the thickness can, can come together. You see, that's what you want. You don't want it like gravy thick where it doesn't really move much. This is what you want. So here we go. And this sauce smells amazing. It really does. Gonna give them a light toss in that sauce. See, it's enough sauce at the bottom where 
the entire amount of chicken will be coated in it. I'm not that great with tossing, and I don't want any accidents. <laughs> Okay. All right, so that sauce is all through and out. Let's plate these babies up. Here's an up close look, and they smell so good. You guys are gonna love these if you follow this recipe. All right, and here goes the scallion that we did earlier for garnish. So for now, let's plate these up. Let's do this the right way. I cannot wait to bite one of these. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, that should be better. Guys, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. If you already did, I thank you so much. Everything is greatly appreciated on this channel. And I appreciate you guys. And thank you for your support. Let's give a little more of that sauce. Make sure we get all these garlic and ginger bits from the bottom of the bowl. You guys are gonna love this recipe, trust me. All right, I think that's good enough. Oh yeah, this makes me happy. I hope you guys like it. Let me give you a close up. Look at those, beautiful. Look at that, mm-hmm. You guys got to try these wings. Okay. So let's try one. All right, guys. So we're going to try these wings right now. Let's do it. Sorry about the lighting. I can't get rid of it. If I turn it off, then you won't be able to see me. It is nighttime. So... All right, so I'm going to try a drum piece. Here it is, here it is. Here are the wings. Mmm. Wow. All right, so that's really good. I definitely recommend that you guys try this recipe. Like, seriously. But I am done, excuse me, and I will see you guys in the next video. And you guys also need to know that I greatly appreciate, excuse me again, your support and, you know, your commentary and definitely your subscriptions. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next. Thank you again. Thank you.